Reverend Dr. Rich, Rich Castellano here, facial plastic surgeon, here today with Dr. Shirazi, dermatologist yes. from California. Yeah, that's right. Thank you for doing our interview. What part of California are you practicing in? I'm in La Jolla. La Jolla? California. Very nice. La Jolla. By the beach. Very nice. Very nice. So tell us yeah. about your practice. What is popular in your practice nowadays? Yeah. Well, um, we have a laser center with over 40 lasers. Wow, one of my 40 favorites. lasers? Right, so we're very... What, 40? What do you do with 40? I know, These must be like a warehouse. We have a lot of toys to play with. That's a lot of lasers. Toys. That's right. Oh yeah. my so gosh. We do a lot of research. We have a lot of laser companies. Wow. A lot of season, That's great to have those resources available. We're very, very lucky. So I hardly ever just use one particular laser. If you come into my standard laser room, I have two or three different machines. Wow. They all do all different types of things. Wow. So I may start with one and do a few pieces with one and then with another, and then I have an overall one. But one of the um, one of the favorite treatments in my practice is photo rejuvenation, what I call mm. photo rejuvenation. Mm. And that uses a light-based technology to rejuvenate the skin. Mm -hmm. We are um, by the water, on the beach. My practice is on a golf course. Very exclusive. So, yeah, I didn't just have a lot of sun damage in Southern California. Yeah. Kind of like skin type like yours. I know, as Fitzpatrick. Am I, am I a true one, or am I one and a half, or what do you, I'm a I one? I would say you're one. One. Two at the, at, at yeah, that. I burn really easily. So, well, wonderful. Congratulations on all your success. So, that is very powerful to have that ability to have so much versatility in the treatments. I'm, I'm blown away. I think that's great. I'm a facial plastic surgeon. I like to do the surgery. I like to do the fillers. I have a CO2 laser, but obviously it's limited in what we can do. And so, wonderful. Good for you. So, so let me ask you this. What's something patients want to know what they can do, like right now? If they want to look better right now, do something for their skin. What's something that they can do right now to help their skin? You know, it really depends on what their issues are, what their concerns are. And then in today's world is how much downtime can they take. So really, a lot of it depends on how much time off they can get. We can do a one-day treatment, like an IPL, or um, a microneedling, or something like that. Or we can do a five-day downtime, a non-ablative fractional laser, like Fraxel or Halo. Or we can do, you mentioned CO2, a big, you know, one month, two week recovery time. Yeah. So it really depends on what they have, what we're aiming to treat, what bothers them, what I see on their skin, and how much downtime they really want to take. So, so that's a lot of factors. That's what I love about the Global Aesthetics Meeting is that you get the opportunity to meet with people that are doing things very differently. You've got this amazing expertise. Now, where do you feel your biggest challenges are, other than the sun? You know, if we didn't have the sun, the world would be a little lonelier, but what are the biggest challenges in what you're doing? You know, I think one of the biggest challenges is just people don't have any time that they can take off. So downtime is, is a major factor for people. I mean, we just live in such a busy world and so much social and work obligations that it's so hard to, you know, have that uh, possibility of a bruise or a scab or something like that. So a lot of times, you know, I want to do more for patients because sometimes they just don't have the time, the downtime, so it's kind of hard to maneuver through that. And then for bruising, that's important for fillers and non-invasive, but you use the pulse dye to help with bruising? I do. I usually use it, you know, the next day or sometimes even that same day. I try to use cannulas, which are yeah, I love the cannulas. blunt needles, and so that way you're not poking into vessels. Right. So we try to do all those things to help with the um, minimizing and, and reducing that downtime that nobody has to take these days. I love it. Now, have you heard of this Occumend where they have the Arnica Montana in a little patch and you put these little patches over an area? Have you heard of that one? I have. It's relatively know. new. Mm -hmm. do you, what do you think about the Occumend? They put the patches on, they show you a picture that says more bruise here, less bruise here. I don't know how they got equal bruising to begin with, but anyways, I mean, it seems like it works. I think it would help, for sure. I think you could do that, but you know, sometimes bruising is inherent. Like people are on certain medications they have mm. to be on. Their skin type is just more prone to bruising. The other thing is, you know, let's say you had a glass of wine the night before or a couple of nights before, you know, that affects it. If you're on vitamins like vitamin E or um, you know, some of these fish oil, these sort of things that are great for your heart but terrible for bruising. Right. And so sometimes it's hard to plan and avoid those because mm. people don't realize those also contribute to bruising. Right. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. This is Dr. Shirazi from La Jolla, California, dermatologist. 
wonderful interview. So nice How can interview. people find out more about you? How can they learn more about what you do? Um, you can go to my Instagram page. It's LJ Derm Doctor, La Jolla Derm Doctor, and check out my posts there. Um, I do some blogs on there, and um, going to be uh, hopefully coming back here and. Um, to some yeah, absolutely. Well, okay. thank you all for watching. I love the Global Aesthetics Conference. Thank you, Dr. Shirazi. Yes. And more videos coming soon. Thank you all thank for you. watching.